Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go on to the next topic. These are all areas Max has covered before, but we're going to test his knowledge now. At the end of the road, turn right. Well, that's, yeah, yeah. Test your knowledge. Where's yeah. the end of the road? Here. Excellent. Well done. Oh, my God. This is horrible. So where are we turning, Max? Oh, Good. So we're at the end of the road here because the yeah. giveaway lines are here. This is another end of the road. So at the end of this road, turn right. So now Max is crossing a dual carriageway turning right. So we're still into the themes from the previous subjects of right turns. As you can see, Max is really making the effort here to position his car to give him the best view possible. He's also leaning across the vehicle to extend his view without having to push the front of the car out into the road, which could be dangerous. How's the visibility, Max? Can you see? It's hard because of the sun, but yeah. there's nothing up there. It's just this traffic up Good. on the left so side. Max has just mentioned the sun. Yeah, very, very big hazard. Um, sunglasses are good, uh, if you have them. Oh, my God. We have sunglasses, Max. Would you like them? No, I'm all right. Okay. Shall I go? Would you walk out? No. Okay. Then that's your answer. You just wait until you'd say yes. No rush. Take your time. Don't panic. The important part is not to panic. Even mm. if someone beeps the horn, relax. Take your time. Oh, God. It's bloody traffic, man. Did you have to bring me on this road? Well, you might have the situation on the driving test, so the easy answer would be... Oh, my God, man. Can I just turn left you? No. <laughs> You've been given the directions to turn right. I can't go to the... Take your time, Max. Breathe. Okay. Just breathe. Big breath. But I just can't go. Because I... Can I go? I can go now, right? Yuck. Can I? Yeah, you might want to slightly increase the speed. Well done. Now you see the angle you took, mm -hmm. a bit diagonal, it almost went into the motorbike, yeah, yeah. you see that. Yeah, so do you remember when you start to steer right for a right turn? Yeah. So when? Like when you come into the middle of the road. Like yes, the of the good. Okay. Keep the right lane. I'm going to ask you to turn right at the traffic lights. Notice you're drifting into the left lane, Max. Yeah, yeah. Slow down. Slower. Walking speed. You walk pretty fast. Walking speed. Keep to the right, Max. See the right lane? Mm -hmm. You've gone way out due to the speed. So the most important part of all junctions is the approaching speed. Oh, that's got the effect. I just put in a lot of pressure. Yeah. So there's a lot to think about. If we slow down, comes easier. Do you feel like there might be space to go around the vehicle? I do, but I don't feel confident enough to do it. Like being perfect, if you felt confident, how would you know it was safe to change your direction to go around the vehicle? Yeah, check your mirrors. Good. What two mirrors would you have checked to change direction to the left to go around the vehicle? The left hand mirror and your back mirror. Good. That's the correct mirrors. I would say better routine would be inter interior, internal mirror, then exterior or external mirror. Because you're going to be moving to the left last, you want to check the left last. Okay. Yeah? Makes sense? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Um, so we just went through the staggered crossroads that you covered on the previous section of this course. However, instead of going straight, I asked you to turn right. Yes. The lane discipline needed work. Yes. Because we were drifting. How can you increase the control and the accuracy of the vehicle? By slowing it down. Yes. Well done. What can you see happening, Max? Yeah, uh, right hand turn for the cars. Are you changing direction here to go around the parked vehicles? Yes. So remember the mirrors? 
this time it's an opposite side. So what two mirrors would you check for going out and around so our vehicles? Mirror and the interior mirror, yeah, good. So again, that's correct. Remember the preferred order? So which one first? Yeah, interior. Yes. So now interior, now right. Now you know there's no motorbike on the right before you move right. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Interior mirror now max, exterior mirror left. Now you can focus on the road because you've done your mirror checks and you can steer the vehicle in here with the safe knowledge there's no motorbike. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. These are the most important mirror checks. See the sign for South Harrow? Yes. I'd like you to keep to this side and follow the sign to South Harrow. So what's coming up now on the syllabus isn't on the syllabus. We have left and right turns and crossroads and T-junctions, but we don't cover Y-junctions per se. Okay, you will do on lessons. And that's what we're going to go into next. It's a Y junction. Very good use of your speed here, Max. Well done. The oncoming vehicles have crossed the center line, haven't yeah. they? So when we see this, we're normally going to stop because we don't have space to continue. Yeah. And you're doing an excellent job of seeing that early adjusting your speed early. It's very safe. Well done. See the sign for Harrow? Yes, I'm taking the right hand side. Very good. Remember your two mirror checks before the signal? Excellent. Good routine, good order on the mirror checks. Well done for stopping at the first stop line, which is where the traffic lights are enforced. This is a Y junction. Can you see the angle? This would be the bottom of the Y. Yeah, that way, and then we're going to have to go like that. Yes. Have a look at the road ahead. So red traffic lights are really your friend. They give you time to look and plan, which is called awareness and planning on the test. So I can't turn right now, can I? So you've got a green light. Green means? Go. Good. Uh, see if somebody hits at me one more time, bro. I'm going to lose my life. So Max Can I go? Very young. Can I go? Yeah. You've got a lot of your life ahead of you and a lot more people beeping. Would yeah. you walk across? Do you see where you're asking that question? Could yeah. I go? Can I go? Really what you want to ask yourself is, would I walk out into this road? So you know when you're asking the question, can I go? Would you have walked out into the road, well, seeing a, the cars? I'm a bit of a jaywalker, so I probably would have, mate. <laughs> okay. One of my students said to me, ask me if I'd walk out if I had a broken leg. So, Max, you got a broken leg. Mm -hmm. Would you have walked out? Probably not, no. So maybe that works. But I think you get the idea. You don't want to walk out in front of vehicles. If you cause them to slow, stop, or swerve, you'll receive a serious fault and fail your driving test. So you want to make sure that you choose the correct time to drive out at junctions. And if you ask yourself if you'd walk out with or without a broken leg, you're gonna get the correct timing, okay? So I hope that really helps. It helped me tremendously. Max, we heard a noise. What was that noise? Exceeding the speed limit. You are, but it was only by one mile an hour. It's not the end of the world. Max, we are coming to two roundabouts. This is the part where I'm gonna ask you to plan for two junctions at the same time. Get going, my man. Turn right on the first roundabout and turn right on the second roundabout. So what position would you take for right turns? Right hand side. Excellent. Yeah. Would you need to check your mirrors before changing your direction? Yes. This is really something we're going to start to work a lot. It doesn't come straight away, so don't get frustrated. My job is to prompt you and then it will come. And then it will be a habit. You won't even think about it. Max, I need you to keep going but drive on the white circle. Drive on, on, on the white circle. Keep your lane. So we drove on the white circle to help you keep this lane mm -hmm. and to avoid the vehicles that are in the left lane. So it's safer and necessary for you to draw, drive on the circle 
Okay. That's why I asked you to do it. It's important that people know this. Going right. yeah, let's go with Correct. It. Well done. Blue light situation, Max. Well done. Can you see the indication on the blue lights yeah, it's in the emergency all service? All Very good. So our roundabouts, we give priority to the right. But look at the lane that the vehicles are in on the right. Very good. Excellent position, maintaining the right lane. We'll be taking this next exit, which is your right turn. All right. Try and go a bit more direct towards your exit. Okay. Did you feel that? It went slightly out, didn't it? A bit yeah. wide. So when you see your exit on the roundabout, it's like a fire exit. There's a fire. You're going to run straight towards the fire exit, aren't you? Yeah. So the roundabout, when you see it, run straight towards it. Excellent. Well done. So what just happened there, Max? You got indication from pedestrians that there's a heavy vehicle turning or maneuvering. Very nice. So this gives you time to plan next. So what are you thinking about after this situation changes? What are you going to do? Where are you going to go? What's happening further down the road? Who's behind you? Are there any motorbikes aside to the vehicle? So I would check your side mirrors now. Okay, yeah, yeah. And we call this filtering traffic. So if we've been held at a road traffic light situation like this, before we move away again, it's not necessary for your driving test, but it's an excellent habit to have. Check the side mirrors for filtering traffic. You check all the mirrors would be better. And then you'll know about any motorbikes that might try to slip round as you move away. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Excellent habit to have. All right, Max, um, so you just had your double roundabouts there. And you did two right turns on both roundabouts. So I'd like you to take the next road on the left, and we're going to discuss this. We're going to recap it like okay. we do at the end of each section of the course. So you're going to take the Just the next road on the left. Now, notice this road has one single line stretching across the entry point. That means it's a one-way. I'd like you to pull over and stop behind the white car on the left on the double yellow lines. Just move up nice and gentle. A little bit slower, please. And that's lovely. Thank you. And just stop a sec. And secure the vehicle. All right, Max. Recap. So we're working backwards like we normally do. Uh, first off, you had the double roundabouts. Yes. Now... In Max's defense, because I'm trying to give so much advice in such a short period of time, this is my disclaimer, I gave Max direction quite close to the junction. Yes, you did. Now, in hindsight, say I gave you direction earlier, what position would you take as you approach the first roundabout? Bear in mind the second roundabout, you're also turning right. What position would you take as you approach the first roundabout? Well, you want to stay on the right-hand side. Very good. Because you go by the, the clockwork. Yep. Um, Excellent. So, so turn... elaborate on that. What about this clock? What are you talking about? So if you're turning left, so like the roundabout's like a clock. Yep. So I could be saying this wrong, but like if you're going um, right on mm -hmm. the roundabouts, mm -hmm. it's four o'clock mm -hmm. onwards. Mm -hmm. If you're going left, it's... Four clock to the left. Mm -hmm. So if you want to turn left, be in the left hand lane. Mm -hmm. If the if the, the the turn is further than four o'clock, mm -hmm. you're turning right, so you want to be in the right hand lane. Mm -hmm. That's very right, good. That advice. could have been worded probably a lot better, but I mean No, it was nice. It was good. Yeah, it makes sense to me. Anything before twelve o'clock, usually left lane. Anything after twelve o'clock, usually right lane. Yeah. Perfect. Now, that's a very good position to have because you're turning right. Yeah. But it's also a better position to have. Because once you've done the first roundabout, where are you going to go on the second roundabout? The exact same position. Exactly. So it's putting you in the position at the first roundabout so that you're in the correct position for the second roundabout. Yeah. This is where people get stuck. They don't take the correct position planning ahead of time okay. for the next junction shortly after. And then they'll try to swap lanes in between the two roundabouts, the two junctions. Usually, this is where it goes wrong. There's a vehicle there. They haven't checked the mirrors. They haven't signaled. There's so many reasons why it could go wrong. And they suddenly change direction 
and it, yeah. whatever reason, the signal, whatever, yeah, it goes. It gets confusing. Yeah. So, worst case scenario, if this happens, don't change lane. Stay in the lane you're in, regardless of where the sat nav or the examiners asked you to go. It might not be safe to do that anymore. So you follow your lane. You follow the course that you're on, which is safer. You will not get marked down on your driving test as long as you drive safely. Yeah. Even okay. if you go a different direction. So important. I'm sure we stress this on the other parts of the course. I cannot stress this enough. Because you'll have people that know this and still make this error. Even though they know that it's okay to go yeah. a different way. And then they fail for that. Before we finish off, any questions, Max? Um, not that I can think of straight away. But you know what I mean? I'll just pop up with a question at some point at some time. Cool. So, All right, we're going to move on. Smashing. All right, stay safe. See you. See you next time, guys. Next time.